What's up, Scrollers? It's an RP here, and today we're gonna be playing more Scrolls, and it looks like we're gonna play with Adrianka, who uh, I've seen her uh, pretty often around uh, the game when most people have fled. So it's cool that she's been playing a lot, I think. And I'm gonna play a Mono Decay deck here. I know a lot of people like to see Mono Decay. I'll hold on to this hand. Get rid of the early little Darkling. Not a great turn to play. And I'm actually currently gathering the stats on my scrolls. You know how when you craft them into when you craft them into tier two and tier three, they track stats. And I've been doing some gathering of their stats, trying to find my most played scrolls, my most uh, sacrifice scrolls, the scrolls that dealt the most damage, all the different stats. Um, it was actually an idea I saw on Reddit uh, from UWLR Young. I'm not sure if I even pronounced that right, but yeah. So, it's pretty cool. And if you guys want to predict, like, what are my most used scrolls, go ahead in the description, in the comments below. Make your predictions. Hopefully there's no burn. Burn would not make me happy. Probably should have played the Harvester up top. It's going to be hard for me to destroy these great blocks. They're not soul stealable. You guys see it? The... Seeing all the cards, all my crafted cards, I have a lot of crafted cards, it's taking a while to go through all of them. Can, why do you go to, f that's interesting, she went to, that's going to be able to be burned now, it's annoying. Um, I'll get rid of the Mire Mare, pack us in front. I'm just confused why she went to four resources. Just extreme top decking then. Next one I can play Life Stealer. Yeah, so seeing my uh, really my crafted cards with a lot of games played shows me which factions I played the most and everything. Because I always thought of myself as someone who played all factions and all decks, but this kind of shows me where my, the divisions lie. And. I think I'm just gonna play the life stealer. I'm gonna actually let that destroy my pack husk and this deal some damage to this infested husk. So he's playing like a, a pseudo grave lock deck. Maybe an elder comes down here. I do have something to soul steal now. I can soul steal the canister automaton. Which means I wouldn't have to deal with its three damage afterwards. Still a little bummed that that idle ping had to hit the harvester, but oh well. Really, he's not gonna. Okay, he doesn't want to give me cards, I guess. Interesting. Ooh, Oblivion Seeker. That's a tough choice now. Probably gonna need to play the Oblivion Seeker. I'm gonna get rid of the Soul Steel. Hate to do it, but. Whatever. Damning Curse could be a good play soon, maybe. Not right now, though. I'm going to put pressure on him. And seeing that he's only he has no cards in his hand, I know we can't Thunder Search next turn. I guess I know, I know we can't in his little... Uh, it's a little false because there are there is such a card as power trip which means you can play some crazy crazy things but yeah a damning curse would end up killing my own pack cost so this harvester can maybe go off like a surprise but it's still at five count on nothing's died yet I have a necro my deck's probably more liking than his so I want to like keep control of the game, except uh, gotta save our damn curses for his elders or freaks, because those are gonna be hard for me to destroy. Uh, 
another elder. And there. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna damage curse now. I believe that is the play. And I'll get rid of I'll play the infested husk. I'll yeah, I'll do both of those. Because what this is gonna going to allow me to do is damage curse that this is not going to be able to attack because it's the the uh, Gravelock Elders are not taking damage, just dying. So I'll go ahead and damage curse. And then I'll be able to destroy this Gravelock Guard, so it's a pretty perfect play here. And um, I'll play the Infested Husk here. I'm actually going to protect that because my board's not that powerful right now. I have a feeling that I'm going to be doing a Necrogeddon. Oh, well, never mind. This this is going to be able to attack because, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a Thunder Surge. I kind of forgot about Thunder Surge. I feel kind of stupid for forgetting about it. Well, that Gravelock getting poisoned is going to force this to attack every single turn, which kind of scares me. Let's get rid of the Mire Mare for cards. Um, oh, it's double poisoned. I'll go ahead and... So I'll steal this. And I'll give this brainless. I have no way of destroying it right now, so this is gonna slowly tick away. Oh boy, that's actually gonna he's gonna have increased attack from the poison. The poisoned grave lock is gonna make his freak just keep going off. And a blast auto. Okay, so he's able to just take out an idol out right there. It's uh, a little scary. Let's get rid of one of the necros. Um, I guess it's time to get the witch doctor going. So I'll see what he wants to do. Next turn I can play Curse Monger and Pack Husk, so that'll be good protection. Hopefully Adrianka doesn't have VDs for my Witch Doctors, because if I can keep those around, it's going to be pretty easy for me to have like a f strong defense, because Adrianka, like, Gravelocks don't really have a way of breaking through Witch Doctor. I guess they have Gravelock Raider with Relentless, but I'm not too worried about that little guy. So he's actually going to deal idle damage. Uh, if he's living it at one health, I can still defend it. It's not like he has loyal darklings in his deck. Thunder Surge. That's funny. He's basically he paid his paid a six cost card to just destroy an idol. So I'm fine with that. It's not like he got rid of an infectious blight or anything. Um Can't get rid of that, unfortunately. I think I'm just gonna languid it. Languid. I'll actually get rid of the Necro now. Play the Curse Monger. And I kind of want to protect this top idol. Okay, at least there's two of the idol, two of the Gravelock Elders are already dead. Soon this Gravelock Burrows will be gone. I don't know, I might just play another one though. We're on a back foot this game, but it's not over. I don't think a deck like his is going to be able to burst a lot of damage in one time. Hopefully he doesn't play Mashinated. There's a third Gravelock Elder. 
Too bad for me he has all three Grey Black Elders so quickly. Um, and now I have another Brain Lice. Let's see. Let's actually get rid of the Rot Eater for cards. You could just be burned easily. And it's not a human. Necro. Nah, so I guess I'll go with a Brain Lice and a Pack Husk. I need to get rid of this thing. Let's go ahead and... Do I put, do I put there put it on that? No, I'm going to put it on this. I want this to die from the Brain Lice soon. Alright, so now it's going to live only one more attack after this one. Or this is going to be la its last attack. Fine. And hopefully it has no way to kill my Curse Monger. But I can't guarantee that. Now that thing is able to be soul stolen from the front. It might be possible for him to win actually. I probably should have moved my curse monger down to this spot. Because now this row is only protected by one unit. And uh it's not a human, so a husk wouldn't spawn in its place. So that's a slight mistake there. Like simply a an iron whip on his, an iron whip machinated on his elder would win the game because this would go up and attack, destroy that, and the elder would have enough damage to just destroy the ten health idol. So hopefully he doesn't have that play. Could have easily played around that too. Played around something like that. I mean, it would still be possible for him to win with like a spark or like a spark iron whip and spark iron whip and machinated if I had the curse monger on the bottom here. But, so we're leaving our I don't even know if he's running those cards so I'm sure there's other ways though ooh -hoo. okay fine well now I kind of wish I played the well now I'm going to be able to curse with this I was able to, I was able to destroy the Grey Black Freak anyways oh well Okay, we're not necrogetting anytime soon. So I can. This is gonna die. I can curse. Or I can deal a bunch of damage. I'm gonna deal a bunch of damage. So. I'm gonna maneuver around here. Curse monger here. Nice four health, and I'm gonna protect this top idol a little better. Oh, unfortunately, that actually makes this elder's attack go up to five, so it's gonna be able to take out one of my units here. Darn. I have three witch doctors in my hand now. I'm not gonna get rid of them either. I don't think so too valuable for great defense. Witch Doctor is pretty much the perfect thing for uh, protecting your last couple idols. It'd be better if I was able to, if the third idol that was alive was right here so I could protect all three. But it doesn't look like Atrianka is focusing on the top idol right now. It might be worthwhile for him to try to get up there. And, well, maybe not because his units are at the bottom right now. It looks as if this is a typical game of a little too aggressive early, and I'm just I have a more late game deck. Just mono decay, just ramps up, and it's very strong. Okay, fine. I'll draw a husk from that, and I'm still afraid of thunder surge because I know I'm gonna be hit by a thunder surge. <laughs> Those husks are kind of dead to a thunder surge. Not kind of, they are dead to a thunder surge. <sighs> Maybe I'll hold on to the Watcher now because, or I did actually sacrifice, I think, all my Necros. Okay, another Husk. And do, do I have a Soul Steel? I don't think so. Let's just Languid. Just Languid this. I should sacrifice for cards looking for a soul steal. 
I do have a soul steal. Okay, let's soul steal here. And I will. Languid. Wish I had that curse monger now. It's too bad. That was a pretty clutch soul steal. I have no humans around my witch doctor now, which is a little bit concerning. Okay. He's going to take his whole turn to do that, but I'm going to be able to put a witch doctor right back down. Go ahead and well, I'm not by the witch doctor yet, actually, because I have no humans, anyways. So I'll do it like this. Make sure everything's around this rod eater. So ideally he has a burn for the right ear in the middle. And I think we have this game, barring a crazy power chip play where he clears a row and destroys an idol. Seven mana, seven resources, what is he gonna play? Next turn I can languid witch doctor or the thing is I don't really have that many humans on the board right now. I have only have one human. <laughs> Infested Husk and Pack Husk, when they came out, kind of uh, took spots of a couple of humans in Mono Decay. He does have the burn. And there's that thing. Okay. In that case, I'm gonna I'm actually gonna get rid of the Blight Bear. Don't really want him. Um, Witch Doctor Ripper, I guess. So I'll play the Witch Doctor here, and then I'll play the Ripper back here. I'm just waiting for a Necro again now because I can just wa watch her again and probably win the game. Skull Shrine, that's going to give him some extra energy. Probably a good card for him to play. Because his only bet, bet at winning this game, I think, would be... Or her. I keep calling it him. It's actually her, I think. I think somebody told me Adrianka is a girl. I wonder what scrolls uh, demographics were for like playing. I wonder what the like percentage of age was to everybody and the, and the gender split. And where they're from. I don't know if that was ever released. Uh, Damning Curse. I'll save that, I guess. I'm actually going to go up to 9 mana, 9 resources. How do I want to do this? Play this rot eater here. Actually, play the witch doctor here. Season winner. They still do this? <laughs> That's cool. I'll play the rot eater up here. Okay. It's going to be hard for him to break through on a row with my extra defenses. This Witch Doctor doesn't have a human in front of it though, so. 
is in a bit of danger. Where's my Hallsville and Lhasa? Could use those to find Necrogeddons. Okay. Goes for cards. And now it's kind of tough. Wonder what he has to be able to do, because if I were his position, I probably have surrendered by now. Basically, just waiting on Necrogen to win. Probably eventually win with that Necrogen, but it would take a lot longer. Okay, that's gonna get a Witch Doctor. That's gonna make a Husk. And. I'm gonna take the Double Watcher. I want to have some fun with that. Just because it's fun. Um, okay, I'm going to connect my units now, but that's because I want to that's because I don't mind putting them here for a watch or get in. Actually, let's do it like this. We're not going to play the Oblivion Seeker right now. There we go. So if he plays a Thunder Surge, he kind of takes a lot of damage. <sighs> Maybe should have cut the damning curse because I can destroy some of my own things. Just trying to speed up this game. At this point, it's probably already decided. Mono Decay is a pretty good deck. There's a Surrender. GG. And uh, that'll be it. So like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. And I'll see you next time.